Let's see my girl. Let's see my girl, bro. That's a First life. Of all, no. That's a life. Bro. James, that's funny. That's a life. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another banger video. If y'all don't know me, my name is Millie. I right? and this is the channel, the Molly fan. My name is Millie Molly. Add me on the gram. Y'all be know the vibes. So today I got we about to do a little something different, right? We about to spice it up a little bit, right? So I'm about to put on this red blunt. Well, it's not really a blunt bob cut. It's, it's a bob though, alright? So I'm about to put on this short red bob wig. I'm just going to show y'all basically. Y'all can receive from the fucking title. But basically I'm just going to be showing y'all how I prepare my hair underneath of the wig. Because you know, girl, you don't want your, you don't want all of this natural hair breaking off. You don't want these edges breaking off. You see these edges, sis? You see these edges? No, we are not breaking them off. Okay. I'm not gonna tell y'all what's coming after the actual with the actual I can't even fucking talk. I'm not gonna tell y'all what's coming after the actual Vic with little bruh. <laughs> like bro. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm not gonna tell y'all what's coming after the actual like installing the red bob wig, but it's gonna be spicy. I it's gonna be lit. I and it's just gonna be it's gonna be a banger. I oh wait, hold up. Before we get into this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all of that. All right. So now, now let's get started. All right. So to wash my hair, I use this right here. I use Suave Coconut Shampoo. That's what I use to wash my hair. And it's a big ass bottle, y'all. Like, look, I don't know if y'all can see. Like, yeah, look. This is where. It is right now, and look how much I use. And but I had this drink for mad long, like no cap. I had this drink for mad long. And to condition my hair, I had just okay. So look, I condition my, I deep condition my hair once a week, right? So I decided that since I had just deep conditioned my hair, I didn't want to do like a full deep condition because you know you can have like you can definitely like over moisturize your hair, and we ain't finna do that, right? So since I had just deep conditioned less than a week ago, I use. A little bit of this and I use a little bit of this so oh. so I use this cream of nature pure honey moisture replenish and strength hair mask so I used half of this and then I used and then I mixed it with some of this this is the regular all seed avocado conditioner so I took both of those and I just mixed them together and I let them sit in my hair while I did everything else inside of my shower and all that and then I rinsed it out with some cold water and I left it in like a little t-shirt because you know y'all don't want to use y'all towels for y'all hair because that would just break your hair off sis alright so get a nice little cotton t-shirt wrap that wrap that shit up you feel me like, just like that because towels no good alright no bueno and after that I just let it dry air dry and then after that I just got my wife to comb and I just like comb I could just comb through it like this and I just comb through all of the curls I need all my curls to be out because when my curls are all there, my hair be way too big. And the wig that I got, I'm not showing y'all it in this video. Y'all gotta stay tuned for the next one. But, you feel me? It's really like, it's already hella flat. <laughs> I don't even have to do nothing, sis. Like, that shit already hella flat. So, I need to make sure all of this fits under that. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part it down the middle. This don't have to be perfect because this is going under my wig. Like, it does not need to be perfect whatsoever. So I'm about to use the Aussie leave-in conditioner. This would look like. I like spray leave-in conditioners better because honestly, if I have thin hair, like I don't know if y'all can see, like I have a lot of hair, but it's hella thin. Well, it's not hella thin, but it's thin. So, I like to use um, spray leave-in conditioners because they're like mad lightweight. And when, you know, you have thin hair, you don't need like too much crazy product and shit. Like, so I mean, like, cream conditioners, they just too heavy. So, like, when your hair is thin, like, no, like, that's just not the vibe. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's just too heavy. So, I like to use a lightweight leave a conditioner which most of the time are sprays i mean don't get me wrong like some creams are dope too but most of the time the lightweight ones are definitely the spray ones 
Now I'm gonna use this. So this is the Just For Me Curl Piece. It's natural care for kids, kinks, coils, and curls. This is with flaxseed, avocado oil, and black castor oil. It holds and hydrates, and it's called the Defining Curl and Coil Cream. And y'all, this cream was $6. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, this is what it looked like. And I'm gonna just use a little bit of this on top of the leave-in conditioner because I want my hair to be like hello moisturized. You feel me? So we just gonna take a little bit of this. I'm gonna do like this much. Before you came around, I was ready to blow me down. <laughs> So why to comb look comb yeah. <laughs> wide tooth comb and I'm gonna rake it through just like that so that I could just distribute all of the product. Alright. And I'm gonna just do the same thing to that side. <laughs> <laughs> so now my hair is already split down the middle or whatever we're gonna just do it one more time like i said y'all this part it don't gotta be perfect but like if you can do it perfect then do that i'm gonna just do like four flat twists right so that's gonna work for me Sometimes I just take this brush, regular brush, or like a wig brush. If y'all know what a wig brush is, if y'all don't, I'll put a picture of it right here. This type of brush right here, yeah. I like to use that too, just to like brush everything back. So I'm going to just part this down the middle, and I'm going to just get my full flat twist. So now I'm going to part in the middle of this joint. And like I said, y'all, hold up. First of all. I want y'all to know that I don't even have a mirror right now, bro. Like, I'm dead using the camera. Like, what y'all see right now is what the fuck I see. I so if my part look crazy or anything look crazy, please don't judge me, y'all. Alright, so I'm gonna part this down the middle. I'm gonna put this over here. And then basically I'm just gonna start flat twisting. So this ain't no, no flat twist tutorial. If y'all want to learn how to flat twist your hair, y'all can go on YouTube and type in how to flat twist because sis, I'm not the one to teach you that, all right? So I'm gonna just time lapse this. Basically, I'm gonna just speed this clip up and I'm gonna just flat twist it. I go like this, right? I take a little piece in the front and then I literally just twist it around each other. And then every time I bring one piece to the back, I take some hair right here. Y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. Because I can't even see. I'm just feeling it. Because like I said, it do not have to be perfect, y'all. Like, it really don't. It is not that serious. Like, you're about to have a whole badass bitch popping ass hairstyle on top of this. <laughs> so, it really don't matter, sis. Like, don't even stress it. For me. Just do your little flat twist. How you do your little flat twist, sis. Because I ain't good at all of that shit evil. I'm just good at washing sets and shit like that. So see, I'm gonna just twist it down, twist it down, twist it down. All right, look, look, it ain't perfect, but it's flat, okay? And that's what we want. So now I'm going to just clip these up. I'm going to separate the two that are on this side and the two that are on this side. I'm going to just twirl them both up together like this. Feel me? And then I will use a bobby pin, but like I don't have them. <laughs> I ran out of bobby pins. So I got clips them. I got flavors of clips, bro. Like flavor flavors. So I'm going to just take this like this and I'm going to just wrap it around like this to the other side. 
And I'm using these clips because these clips is hella flat. Bring it from the back to the other side and bring it around like this. Then y'all take your little body pin, y'all clip, whatever y'all finna use. And you just clip it down. And then everything is pretty much flat from there. But from here, I just put my wig cap on, but I'm not about to put the wig cap on now because I'm going to do that when I'm actually putting on the wig, which I'm not going to do right now. So, yeah, that's it. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all if it's like flat. I know y'all can see it's flat from here. Like, bitch, I look like I got a haircut, bitch. Like, I'm low key a fake pro, ho. Like, I low key look bold. Okay, I don't got no hair. I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. So, therefore, your comment is irrelevant. Now lift the back, hold up, lift the back. All right, see, we got the little, it's flat flat. It's flat flat. Now low applause, never mind that ass flat. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like, comment, and of course, subscribe so you can be a part of the game, game, game. We make banger videos all day, every day, once a week, Sometimes more than once a week, but we always got a new video on this channel every single week. All right, so subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that good stuff, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Gang, gang, peace out.